Well, this is the house I spent my first 22 years of life in. Well, since I was nine months old. And Dee Dee now lives here, but now because of these fucking shitheads around here who've been vandalizing her shit, and because Roger got sick and can't fucking work no more, they gotta move to some fucking old man's home now. Man, I tell you, shit gets bigger as it rolls down here. Why the goddamn fuck get my goddamn life to the goddamn same? Now I bet you some fucking cocksucker's gonna move in this house, cut these fucking trees down, fuck this house, all the shit, this fucking neighborhood. The fucking goddamn crocker shit pisses me the goddamn fuck off, goddamn it. Well, this is the last meal of this house. The family's gathering. It's like a funeral, said we're having a good time. Face need some hot dogs. <laughs> I know where Bin Laden is. Where? He's, uh, where was he at, Jenny? Oh, I bought it. He's, uh... <laughs> He's, hi he's hiding at six churches. Let's go get him. He's hiding at six churches. Bin Laden. Bin Laden. Let's go get him. <laughs> and kill him. Help. <clears throat> I'll put this here. Please don't lose these. Oh, they open the chairs. The shades. Hey, Ben. Hey, people. <laughs> the last meal. The last supper. Unless me and Jimmy want to move in. Oh, yes, I know. <laughs> Hey, I've got to touch your head, but it's a Sunday, so. Okay. Ooh, chilly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember when Grandpa was installing this oven. Because our last day living here, I woke up to the, the nerve grating sound of metal crashing against metal, and Grandpa in here taking the old oven out. Like, what's happening, Grandpa? He's like, you don't live here no more. You know, when Grandpa was moving the oven in that Sunday morning, that last Sunday morning I was here, aggravating metal sounds to try to uh, metal, bang his metal. I looked in here, Grandpa was taking the oven out. I'm like, Grandpa, what's going on? He's like, you don't live here anymore. I might have to get me. No, <laughs> it's just a matter of fact. I, I didn't have much of a breakfast. Okay, this is Chris, you too. Let me touch her head. No. You see this house coming up? You see this house? I grew up in this house. I'd be willing to kill if I had to to live here again. I'll be in that room right there sleeping, but I can't fall asleep because the air is electric. I can feel the excitement as I listen to those songs by Led Zeppelin. That song, Light My Fire by The Doors, Arthur Brown's Fire, songs I cannot even remember who dozen but I can hear them in my mind. In this house I'm still able to walk. In this yard I'm able to run wild and free without tripping and limping like I do today. Without this malady that afflicts the right side of my body. In this house are happier times. Times when neighbors would come over and everybody and we'd all sit at the kitchen table and just talk. In this house my spirit slingers behind. In it, my body has been taken captive by Big Brother's Nation of America. And my fear today is that I will never be able to return one day before it's too late. That they will bulldoze this place, they will cut down these trees before I can make it big in the music business and make the money to return here back to happier days. 
back to my native land. I love this place. Reluctantly, I must leave or Father Tom's police will come and arrest me and throw me under the jail. I long to return someday and take possession of my native land, but I fear that time will work against me and Tom's bulldozers and Tom's woodsmen will come cut down the trees and bulldoze this place down before I can come reclaim my native land. <sighs> My body's falling apart. This city's falling apart. This country's falling apart. The whole freaking world's falling apart. I deserve better than this. I deserve something better than this shithole that I live in. This now. used to be my playground. I called it the flower land. I could see myself running up and down without the limp. <laughs> so young. I could see cars as they keep pulling up, car after car after car. My parents are preparing to have a grand cookout. And every time I see a car pull up, my heart just leaps for joy. The air is electric. <laughs> right here, I can see them now. The grill. Mm mm mm. Those delicious hamburgers. Mm mm mm. Better time, better place, better days. Simpler times. Big Brother's America today that has taken me captive into a foreign land. Uh uh. I do not recognize this place. There is no love today. There is all, it's all Until about I'm living in selfish this house. Sex, sex, once sex. Again, there is no neighborly kindness. It's all about sex. I will never day. be completely happy. I long happy. to return here one day before I die. Dear God, take me back to the cornfield just one more time. I want to see it one more time before I die. Take me back to the cornfield. Right here, I cannot see it no more. But it's there. Take me back to the cornfield, please. Take me back one more time. Ah, there's the cornfield. Too bad I can't go back. I can only view it from this side, the other side. On the other side is my native land, where I long to return for a final time to stay and to die. Behold the woods of my childhood. There must have been thousands of times when I came back here to be by myself. My hideout, I used to call it back then. Wow, have the trees grown up ever since. I spent years roaming these trails. These trails have been here for God only knows how long. See this trail right here? This trail is over a mile long wide enough to drive through. Behold how the sunshine walks the trails alongside me. My only companion here. The only companion I need or want. I love the memories of this place. You know, that always tells me, Chris, you got the memories you don't need the objects to keep 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 reminding you oh but I do here's what we don't understand you know see this pine cone three-dimensional oh no 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 it's four-dimensional this pine cone is one with what it was and what it will be we just can't see it well our soul and scientific knowledge can't see it but our spirit knows something Intuitively, the scientifically, our souls don't. Holding this pine cone, I hold everything it was and everything it will ever be. In my hands, four dimensional, past, length, width, height, past, present, and future. My spirit knows that. Even if your souls don't, I'm going to listen to my spirit because it knows better than your soul. Science. Can, uh, can only observe and describe. How can it observe and describe immaterial things? It can't. Only immaterial spirit can. God damn it. Go higher. Get out of this shithole dump 
I'm in. It is Nowheresville City that back in the 80s used to kick ass. It sucks now. I've been to Los Angeles nine times. Yes, LA, nine times. All for money and cash, and I panhandled. <laughs> to better myself. To make those contacts in the music biz. I want to be a rapper and a rocker someday. I want to get the cosmetic surgery. Yes, and I'm a guy. I'm not a girl. I'm a guy who wants cosmetic surgery. I want to get my hair back. I want hair flat surgery by Dr. Richard Fleming, my and Myers, and Beverly Hills. I don't want hair transplants. I want hair flat surgery. Maybe a little life roll down here. I will maybe a little reconstruction of the face. Longer or let's not talk about that right now. Just I hope the back, I'm aspiring to go higher. And if I can't, let me curse God and die right here. But let there be poison in this peaker. And we go out with a bang. Because I'm too chicken to kill myself. But I can always do something. Go out have as much fun as I can and maybe hope to go out with a bang. <laughs> but I really do want to live. I don't want to die. Damn, this is good. Well, sign or I hope you'll be seeing me and my songs in the near future. Not long future, but near future, because my time is running out. I might be dying. These pain might be threatening to devour my body like a dragon. Or the body could just freaking fall out. And we all could go to hell. Fuck that. Until I am living at this house once again, I will never be completely happy. Especially living in this shithole I live in. Until I am living at this house once again, I will never be completely happy. Until I am living at this house once again, I will never be completely happy. Until I am living at this house once again, I will never be completely happy.